Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm John Landis, and today we're going to look at the trailer for The Tammy Show, which is pretty cool because I was there at the Santa Monica Civic in 1964 to see the concert, Teenage America Music International. Here's the trailer for The Tammy Show, and one of those kids out there is moi. Okay, T-A-M-I is coming. Look at that. That's, uh, that's what we look like, kids. This is 1964. And I went to Emerson Junior High, which is right behind the Mormon Temple on Santa Monica Boulevard. And one of the girls, I've forgotten her name, but one of the girls' father produced this. There's the Beach Boys. And so the entire seventh grade went. Um, David Cassidy was in my class. He was there. It was hosted by Jan and Dean. And the... Oh, actually, you know what's cool? One of these go-go girls is Terry Garr. When you watch this, they so sexy, these go-go girls, and they never stop dancing for like two and a half hours. Um, there's Jan and Dean. There were Chuck Berry. Um, the guy who blew me away, though, was James Brown of Fabulous Flames. I'd never seen anything like that before. This was one of the first uh, U.S. performances of the Rolling Stones, who were kind of boring after James Brown. <laughs> but uh, I loved... Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell, little Stevie Wonder. The guy, also Jerry and the Pacemakers, who were much bigger stars than the Rolling Stones at this time. The Supremes. This was a, an astonishing show with constant screaming. And you'll notice, look at the speakers, because this is still, this is before stadium speakers. Now, Leslie Gore, believe it or not, was the biggest star there. She got the biggest ovation. She was the hottest act. But what I like about this, it shows this time in music which was extraordinary in its diversity. You have surf music, British music, pop music, soul music, Motown, all these different movements. Look at, look at that, there's uh, Marvin Gaye and, and Dean of Jan and Dean. It's unbelievable, these guys, Jerry of Jerry, the, look how good he looks. They're all behind Leslie Gore. James Brown was amazing though, I, uh, here he is. He was, this is the first time I ever saw him, and I, I got to know him pretty well. He was astonishing, and he, this is probably the greatest film performance of James. And what they did is, this was Electrovision. It was broadcast to theaters, like a, they used to do that with, pri there I am, oh, they used to do this with prize fights. He's saying, please, please. Um, this was, and that's the same guy, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, I forgot them. This was just, one of the great nights. I, I was just Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas. Get billing above the Barbarians and the Supremes. This is before Diana Ross and the Supremes. Here they are. Here's Mick Jagger looking 12 years old. We just thought, who is this English twerp? Bring James Brown back on the stage. This was really terribly exciting. I can't tell you. It was, it was uh, the two greatest music shows I ever saw. One was this, because I think it was one of the first. I saw the Beatles at the Hollywood Bowl, but I couldn't hear them. So that you could hear them in this theater, so that was, that was good. There I am again. Two solid hours of those girls dancing in bikinis. And one of them is Terry Garr. I wonder where she is. Uh, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It was a great show. It was so exciting. party really goes into orbit when the newest showbiz sensation gives out, James Brown and the Flames. 